welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anive, and today's video is going to be another Steve Madden shoe haul. A lot of my favorite shoes do come from Steve Madden. I am obsessed with the style and how affordable they are in compared to luxury shoes. Links marked with an asterisk are affiliation links in which I make a very small commission. Feel free to use these links if you would like to support me. I went overboard with my haul like I always do, but I did it within reason. I purchased about eight pairs of shoes because Steve Madden had a huge 30% off sale. So I spent a total of $257.59, which is a steal for eight pairs of shoes. So I'm actually glad that I got a notification for this 30% off sale through my emails. I'm always looking through my emails to see if there's any deals or coupons going on with some of the brands that I like. This is a huge, huge haul. This is like the biggest haul that I've done from Steve Madden. I don't think I've ever purchased this many at once. And of course, I do love that Steve Madden offers Afterpay. So that's how I kind of afford some of the hauls that I do. I put it on Afterpay or I'll put it on Klarna. I'm planning on starting a capsule wardrobe. And I'm kind of starting off with something that I really, really like, which is shoes. I have had issues with my weight uh, for a while on and off for the past like maybe five to six years because I was diagnosed with PCOS. So my weight fluctuates a lot because I do have hormonal issues. So that's why I'm very hesitant to do clothing hauls. I was actually supposed to do a clothing haul, but that got canceled. I had to ship everything back because the clothes fit me too big. My weight does fluctuate a lot. One thing that I do not have to worry about with shoes though is that no matter if I gain weight, lose weight, I am pretty much am going to fit in the same size shoe and I'm not going to have to buy new shoes every time my weight fluctuates. So that's the reason why I love shoes. Shoes are my first love and they always will be. Buying shoes puts me in a really good mood. I'm like buying clothes, but that's enough rambling for the intro. I want to go ahead and jump into today's video. Get comfy, grab a snack, go ahead and subscribe to my channel while you're here. The first box that I want to unbox is this really, really big box. I'm so excited for these. I have not peeked at these since I got these. I wanted to film with y'all as soon as I got them. I wanted to show y'all. This is called Mara Black. And of course, I got all of these shoes on sale. These are really, really beautiful. I am obsessed with this heel. It is very, very sexy. It gives very like Dom Mommy vibes. I love a good leather sexy boot. Yes, I do understand that spring's coming, but I wear black all year round. And since I don't have a lot of leather boots, I figured this would be great to add to my collection. I just love the point on it. It's just very sexy. I feel like the grooves on the shoes um, not only make it safer to walk in, first of all, because we don't want to fall and break our ankle with these shoes, but I feel like these make it kind of like sporty and tone it down a little bit. Like it doesn't look super fancy. I feel like it gives an edge to the shoe. I'm so excited to unbox this one. This one is called Passion Black. And these, oh my gosh, when I saw these online, I was screaming because they are so sexy. These are kind of like patent, latexy looking boots. They kind of remind me of the Steve Madden Cobra boots. These boots are giving a very sexy vibe. Like this is just very high fashion. Latex has been very popular within the past couple of years in fashion and now I finally have my first like shiny shoe like this. So I really want to do a clothing haul so let me know if you're interested in that and then of course I want to do like a little like closet uh, style book, lookbook, whatever it's called because I think my fashion is a little bit more edgy and fun. I think y'all would really like what I would have to show y'all. But these shoes are very, very sexy. This is called Passion Black, and I really think these are to die for. Like, these make me want to lick them. They're just so freaking delicious looking. Might be my last Steve Madden haul for a while. I'm not sure yet because I don't want my closet overrun with shoes. Like, I love shoes, but I really need to focus on building my whole wardrobe. Next pair of shoes that I'm unboxing are called Audrey Black, and I don't remember what these look like. 
These are so pretty. Okay, so this is the shoe. This is called Audrey Black. And this is giving very like Bratz dolly, chunky 90s heel. I love this like pattern right here because it's so reminiscent of the 90s. And also too, I feel like it gives it kind of like an edgy gothy feel to it. I love these. These look fun. They're kind of heavy. I do like the support. I do like the shape. And I can't wait to wear these. Next pair of shoes that I'm unboxing are called Kira Black. This is also kind of like a latexy looking shoe. This is so beautiful. But the weird thing about this is that it doesn't feel latexy. It feels like very like silky and it kind of has like a chromatic look to it. Like I know it looks very like latexy like the other one. The material on this shoe is kind of like um, like the holographic spandex that was kind of like popular in the 80s if that makes sense. So it does look very shiny, but it's pulling off like a duo chrome black silver. And yes, it does look latexy, but once again, it does feel like that spandexy vibe. What's actually latexy looking on this shoe is kind of like a patent black faux leather is this right here. So this material feels way different from this. And this just catches the light so beautifully. Like, oh my gosh, I just, I love these. So it has more of like a triangular heel. It's so beautiful. Um, still chunky, very 90s. I see this style of shoe a lot everywhere. And when I saw that these look kind of latexy, these are gorgeous. But I'm actually kind of glad that it has that different material up here because I feel like it makes the shoe way more fashionable. I think these are going to be my favorite from the haul, actually. These shoes literally look unreal to me. Like, filming with these shoes, it's literally catching all the light. It looks so beautiful. Like, and in person, it looks way better. The next pair I'm unboxing is called Clara Patton Black. And... I don't remember what this style looks like either, but I'm pretty sure they're very sexy too. Ooh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my god. This is so sexy. This is giving very, like, I don't know what's the word. It's very high fashion to me. Um, if you ignore the white, let me take the white off because I just think the white makes it look like a petticoat shoe, if that makes sense, like a very like 1800s inspired shoe when it's not. These heels are very, very shiny. It feels kind of like a plasticky material. I don't know how to describe this material. What I like about these shoes is that they're very, very shiny. I do kind of like the triangular looking heel. I also like the point on this heel. I think it is very, very sexy. I am loving the straps. It kind of has like a very gothy, like alluring, femme fatale vibe to it. And I just think these are very sexy. One thing that I'm concerned about with these shoes though is like the bottom of it feels kind of smooth. So I'd be kind of scared to like slip with these shoes. So I might just scuff the bottom of them or buy those little sandpaper stickers that they put on the shoe for grip online. But nonetheless, like this is a very, very awesome, like high fashion, edgy, grungy shoe. Like I feel like this screams very gothy. The arch is pretty high, so I don't know how comfortable these will be. So I'm gonna have to try them on a little bit. Next shoe I'm unboxing is called Stacy Black. And I think these are so cute. I bought these anyways, even though they're kind of like fall reminiscent. I... I bought these anyways, even though they're very fall-esque. I really, really like these for the fall. I probably would wear them honestly all year round, but I feel like more of a suede look is more for fall and winter. I wanted to get these anyways because they've been in my cart for the longest time. I gravitate towards this style of shoe in the fall. I love suede. So I know I'm gonna use these. I may not wear these in the spring, but I definitely will be using them in the fall and winter. And of course I got them on sale, so why wouldn't I of course buy them? So. Now these have been in my cart for a while. They're just a very plain, basic suede shoe that would go with a lot of fall slash winter outfits. I feel like you can get away with this at night um, for like a club look, but nonetheless, like I tend to keep my suede shoes for the fall and winter. I just love the stitching on this shoe. I think it is so pretty. It's very classic suede booty. The next shoe that I got is called Erica Black, and I'm actually really, really excited for these. This is the shoe. It is a suede chunky heel, and then the straps are very shiny. This is 
my dream shoe. I love the way this shoe looks. It's very plain, simple, and chunky. I know a lot of the shoes that I bought do have that chunky format, but I really, really do like them. I feel like they're so comfy, and I just like how they add height and drama to my outfit. I feel like I would wear this shoe all the time. This shoe genuinely reminds me of a Bratz doll shoe. Like, I swear I've seen this shoe on my dolls before <laughs> when I was little. I would probably wear this in the late summer to like early fall, mid to late fall. And not necessarily in the winter though. It just depends on how cold it gets. So this last pair I'm actually really, really excited for. This is called Sweets Black Glitter. And I've been wanting these since I saw them. Once again, it's a chunky shoe, but I love them. As soon as I saw this shoe, I fell in love with it. This is just so 90s. Like the glitter is ridiculous. I like the black to silver glitter reflect. And I think it's so beautiful. This is like very like 90s Y2K. I love them. I know people might think that having glitter shoes is tacky, but honestly, I think they're so fun. I would wear this all year round to the club at New Year's for a Christmas party. I would wear these all the time. I wish I would have gotten the other colors on sale, but this will do for me since black is literally my color. Once again, the bottom feels kind of slick, so I would probably either sand this off to add some texture or put like one of those little like stickers on here to keep me from slipping. So those are all the shoes that I got in the Steve Madden sale. I got them at a good price. I could have easily spent over a thousand dollars on these shoes. But I ended up saving a lot of money just watching out for sales and adding to my shoe arsenal. I can't believe I spent under $300 for all of these shoes. I think that's a steal. Leave me a request down below. Let me know what y'all want to see. I want to do more fashion videos. Maybe I'll do a beauty room tour if you're interested in that because my beauty room isn't necessarily done all the way. But I can go ahead and show y'all around if you're interested in that. I also think I want to start vlogging more, doing more like fashion videos. If you want makeup tutorials, I'll totally do them. I just don't know if they're that popular anymore. I hope you love watching my hauls as much as I love filming them. I think they're so fun. You know, growing up, I would go shopping and with my sister or friends and we would have like these little cute little try on hauls. I would try on all my clothes, model them for my friends or my family. And I feel like this is just very nostalgic to me. So I really do love filming hauls and showing what I got. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button right down below. Also, ring the notification bell icon if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank y'all guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Touch inside